What's the deal, baby? You already know it is the big boss hog, boss dog, cake poke through the dope. Get it out this box. So today's video is gonna be called the mentality of Terrence Crawford, right? The great Terrence Crawford, undefeated, who was undisputed at 140, uh, is now the WBO champion at 147, and possibly are gonna fight Earl Spence Jr. You know what I mean? We're going to talk about the mentality of Terrence Crawford, all right? Because Terrence Crawford does have great skills. Terrence Crawford does have high ring IQ. But his ego is, is going to be a flaw in this fight if he doesn't fight smart. Now, I'm hearing rumblings that, you know, uh, I've heard from uh, Trill Boxing Talk. I watch their stuff and, you know, they were talking about it. And then I also like watch Contender Regime Boxing, you know. So I went and, you know, watched, you know, because I'm hearing rumblings, you know what I mean? That Bud said, I guess on one of his lives or somebody's live, that he gonna go toe to toe with Elspeth. And I respect it, don't get it twisted. Bud Crawford, Bud Crawford is gangster. Alright? And I'm not talking about gangster like he, he in the streets, but I'm just talking about the mentality he got. I can relate to his mentality. It's a video that I have saved on my IG when he was getting ready for the Sean Porter fight. And he was like, I'm that guy. If we got problems, I'm that guy there to say, hey, let's go in this, this back room back here and see who come out first. That's... <laughs> That, that was live to me. I got that saved on my... I got that posted on my IG because I can relate to that. You know what I mean? I can relate to... Y'all ever been in sparring and you you sparring and dude hit you hard as hell. And you like, fuck that. And he keep hitting you with the same shot. And you just like, fuck that. I ain't moving from this spot. We finna get it cracking. You know what I mean? That's Bud. Bud want to prove he's tougher than everybody. Bud, Bud want to prove that I'm that dude. And that could be his downfall in a fight of this magnitude. I'm not saying it's, it's, he go, you know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that he can't win. In my opinion, the only way he beats Earl Spitz is to outbox him. And to set traps, let Earl Spence run into something. Use lateral movement. You know what I mean? Box off the back foot. Use lines, use lines and angles. You know what I mean? Make a miss, make them pay. That's the only thing I can see Terrence Crawford beating Earl Spence. And if he try to sit there and go to war with Earl, I'm telling you, he gonna get stopped. I'm telling you this. His mentality is to kill. He wanna, he wanna, he wanna destroy El Spence. Or whoever his opponent is, he wanna destroy them. That's his mentality. That's how he is. He's not like Floyd. Well, Floyd will outsmart you. Floyd, Floyd will know, oh, this dude is aggressive. Let me outbox this boy. Floyd gonna beat you smart. He gonna do whatever it takes just to win. Whether he beat you by one point or it's a landslide. Floyd not gonna sit there and go toe-to-toe -to -toe with you. Floyd ain't gonna do that. Floyd gonna fight smart. You hear people when they talk about Floyd Mayweather, how Andre Berto is a prime example. How Florida look at the clock, take deep breaths, control his breathing, faint, hit you, then get out of there. So now you sitting there swinging for the fences, floor making you miss, making you pay. Wrap you up. Because people don't understand when people tie you up in boxing, you got to get your rhythm back. You got to reset. Bud not like that. Bud coming for you. And I'm telling you, he going to try to do that with L. And it's going to cost him. I don't see a knockout from Bud. And I could be, like I said, I've been wrong before. I'm not sitting here saying that, oh, I, I guarantee 
I've been wrong before. I don't run for no smoke. If, if Bud Crawford win the fight, I'm going to congratulate him just the same way I'm going to congratulate Earl Spence. I really don't care who wins. But I'm telling, I'm just telling you as pertains to the stuff I see in Earl Spence, the stuff I see in Bud Crawford, I'm going to rock with Earl Spence because Bud Crawford don't fight smart all the time. It's, it's because Bud is not, not saying he's stupid, his ego gets in the way. Everybody's trying to compare Bud to Floyd. He's not Floyd. Bud is Bud Crawford. Terrence Bud Crawford is Terrence Bud Crawford. He's his own great fighter. We need to stop comparing these fighters to these legends. They do that same thing with Shakur. Shakur Stevenson could be the next Floyd Mayweather. Shakur Stevenson is Shakur Stevenson. He's his own great fighter. But to get back on topic, prime example, of the mentality of Bud Crawford, Mean Machine. I think Bud was southpaw, and he kept getting hit with that overhand right. And, and eventually, one of them overhand rights dropped him. Now, the referee thought it, w it wasn't a knockdown. He just thought Bud slipped, which, no. Bud Crawford's leg gave out, and he it was knocked down. Now, granted, that don't matter, because at the end of the fight, at the end of the day, excuse me, he knocked out Mean Machine. But still, when you look at the stubbornness of him, he could have made that fight easier. All he had to do was box Mean Machine. Get out of Southpaw and go to Orthodox. When he saw that that Southpaw stance wasn't working, and granted, I could be wrong, may have been the other way around. Like I said, I'm driving right now. But when he saw that wasn't working, he should have switched. Now, Bud, people try to highlight, you know, and shout out to, it was a dude in my comment section, I forgot his name. I'm sorry that I didn't remember your name, but I remember you commented on one of my videos. He said, Bud, they, they talk about Bud switching, like, he switches to cause wrinkles and confusion. No, Bud switches because if he's getting destroyed out of, I don't even use destroyed. If he's getting hit in orthodox or softball, he will switch and try another way. You get what I mean? Now granted, that's a strategy. You can look at it as a strategy, but the only reason why he does that, if he's getting hit too much, then he'll, you know what I mean? Then he'll come. And it's not like he's switching in the middle of the round. Like Boots Ennis can switch. I've watched him switch mid-combination. He'll be in southpaw and throw a combination and end up in orthodox. By the, by the time he's done throwing that combination. So we give Bud a little bit too much credit. Not saying it's not a talent. But we give him too much credit with this switching thing. You know what I mean? Now, Bud is a great fighter. And like I said before, I'm picking El Spence to beat him. But if Bud wins, I'm going to give him his flowers just like I would give El Spence his flowers. It's just the fans of Bud Crawford. Like, I'm a fan of Bud Crawford. But you got dudes on here, bro, who... Got Bud Crawford as they profile picture and all this other stuff who sit here and literally will hate on Errol Spence. Now, a lot of y'all don't even like Errol Spence. That's why y'all hating on him. Y'all pick any fighter, man. It could be uh, Clarissa Shields can be fighting Errol Spence. Y'all gonna pick Clarissa Shields to beat Errol Spence because y'all don't like this dude. That's just what it is, brother. You know, so like I said before, I think that Bud is a great fighter. Me personally, I feel like his ego, if he does not fight smart, he going to lose by stoppage. That's just what it is. But every fight he's shown 
to do the same thing. The only fight I say he fought smart was against Vic Victor Postal. He fought beautiful in that fight. He fought smart. I give him credit for that one. That was a beautiful, beautiful fight. He fought smart. The Victor Postal fight was very smart. But every other fight at 147, he been fighting toe-to-toe -to -toe with everybody. He want to go to war with it. No. So like I said, man, I feel like it's his ego that's going to get in the way. But y'all let me know what y'all think. Y'all think his ego going to get in the way or y'all think it don't matter? Boss gone.